So we were asked to see a patient with morbid obesity. Um, this is a man who weighed over 400 pounds and who had tried everything and despite that uh, was still uh, very obese. And as you know, when you're obese, your life expectancy is impaired because you have diabetes and hypertension and so on. So obesity is actually a life-threatening uh, and a life-shortening condition. And so, uh, you know, the, the doctors uh, came up to me and said, you know, we've tried everything. Uh, you know, you're a neurosurgeon, you know, can you, can you fix this? Can you fix this, this obesity thing? Um, and I said, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I can fix that. But we started looking into it. And sure enough, we know that there are areas in the brain that regulate appetite. And uh, if you go back into the animal literature, you can find examples of this in rodents and in cats and in monkeys. And it turns out that there are experiments that have, that have been done in cats, for example, I'll show you here, that give you some insight into this. So there are areas in the brain, in the hypothalamus in particular, in the ventromedial uh, area of the hypothalamus, uh, that are the centers for satiety. These are the centers that tell you, you've eaten enough, it's time to stop eating. And if you destroy these areas, then you are no longer satisfied, and you just keep on eating and eating until you end up looking something like, like this cat over here on the left, right? So this is a cat that gets no satisfaction from eating, just keeps on eating and eating, and ends up looking like that. So these are the ventromedial nuclei of the hypothalamus. Now there are other nuclei, more laterally, the ventrolateral nuclei, and these nuclei are responsible for the hunger uh, drive. And if you destroy these nuclei, you destroy the drive for hunger, and then you are no longer interested in eating, and you end up looking like, like this cat over here. All right? So we, we know that these areas of the brain are important to regulate appetite. I was not going to destroy these areas of the brain in a human being. I thought that was too dangerous. But I thought that putting electrodes here to either drive satiety or suppress hunger would be a reasonable thing to do. So on that basis, we uh, asked the hospital uh, for permission. Uh, so you have to go through the ethics. This has never been done in human beings, right? So whenever you do something new, you need permission. Uh, so you go to the ethical committee and you say, we have this patient, we would like to operate on them. So they took about a year of sort of thinking about this. And at the end of a the year, they said, okay, you are allowed to operate on one human being uh, with this. Because they were, they were scared that, you know, this is dangerous, never been done, et cetera. So, okay, fine, sure enough. We, we, so what we decided to do is to bring this patient into the operating room and to place electrodes in his hypothalamus and uh, to see if we could find an area in the hypothalamus where we could diminish his appetite. So we're in the operating room, he has a hole drilled in his head, we place an electrode, we're advancing the electrode into his brain, and we ask him, um, uh, what's your, what's, how, how hungry are you from zero to 10, right? So his answer, 9.5. So that's his baseline, he's always at a 9.5. And we are looking for a place where we can stimulate and it goes from 9.5 to something less than 9.5, right? So we're advancing the electrode, we turn it on, and the first place that we go, we stimulate and turn it on, and he says, I'm 20 years old. What? <laughs> he says, yeah, I'm 20 years old. What do, you, what do you mean you're 20 years old? He says, I just feel like I'm 20 years old. So we turn it off, it goes away. <laughs> uh, we come back to the same place, the same threshold. I'm 20 years old. Well, what, what are you? What are you doing? What, I, you know, what's going on? He says, well, I can't tell. Everything's in black and white. You know, it's like foggy. Okay. So we turn up the current. Let's go from three to five volts. And uh, he says, aha. Okay, good. Now things are in color. I'm 20 years old, and I'm walking through a field with my girlfriend. And uh, this is what we're doing, this is what she's wearing. The, birds, the, the details of this scene came back. All the details of, of, of this scene came back. So we became very uh, interested in this, this sort of thing. We quickly forgot about this appetite stuff. <laughs> and we decided to pursue the, this memory thing. And in fact, we weren't able to really find a good spot in the brain where we could turn down his appetite but we found these areas in the brain where we could elicit these very vivid memories. So 